Kusile is a power plant with six units, 800 megawatts each, and it's made up of various plants. Our scope is the turbine, the generator, and all of the auxiliaries that go into that. The air-cooled condenser system, which we've designed and built units one, two, three, but four, five, and six units on ACC are built by a local contractor. And then the one plant that makes us unique as QCL is then the wet flue gas desulfurization plant, which is also a GE product in terms of design and installation. The wet flue gas desulfurization plant's main objective on a power plant is to clean the sulfur dioxides out of the flue gas. The flue gas comes from the boiler after the power generation process has gone through in terms of the megawatts that we need to get out of the grid. So in terms of how the technology works, we've got uh, the common plant of that, which is made up of where we get the limestone that is used to react with the flu that comes from the boiler. So the limestone will then be mixed with water and it turns into slurry. The slurry is then sprayed on into the absorber in the reaction tank and then it reacts with the flu gas. In doing that, there's a chemical reaction that happens that ends up converting the sulfur dioxide into an economically usable product called gypsum, which can be used to then make other products such as like ceilings and whatever else products that can be used to cement. Um, so at the end of the day, really the wet flu gas desulfurization plant is to ensure that Kusile is a clean plant in terms of what gets to the atmosphere. Yes, we cannot claim that it's 100% clean, but it is cleaner than all the other plants, and it is the first of its kind in Africa. So we pride ourselves in that, and with all the tests that we've done up to this far, it actually does even more than what we had designed it to do. Our design parameters is that the efficiency of the removal of the sulfur dioxide is supposed to be 90.3%. Today, with the units that we've tested, it's around 95% consistently. We've handed over unit one commercially to the customer and when we did the initial test, that is what we got in terms of our results. We've got two more units that we are busy commissioning, but as we get the results, because as you commission, the unit is running and generating power, so the FGT plant does work in that, which is unit two and three. The results that we're seeing from the customer as well are above 95%. So that puts us well within or even higher, much higher than what we were expecting this plant to actually do in terms of making sure that this power plant is one of the cleanest in Africa.